Hey, this is Mike. I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting East Coast Honda, and I'm gonna try to contain myself because I'm standing in front of a 2016 Honda Civic, and they have been recently released. Like, this is the first day that they've had them on the lot here at East Coast Honda. So, uh, this is one of my favorite vehicles for a long time, the Honda Civic. So this is the new generation with all the redesigns, completely redesigned vehicle. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, this one has the 16 inch alloy wheels with the two-tone pattern, sporty looking two-tone pattern with like a gray background with the alloy popping through the, the outside there. You have the ventilated disc brakes here on the front and the solid disc brakes in the back. Let's take a look here. And this vehicle is slightly bigger than the previous model Civic. It gives you a little bit better ride and handling. Let's take a look at here in the front. It has the projector. A combination of projector and reflector headlights here and a halogen powered by halogen bulbs. So the projector is going to power the low beams and then a combination of the projector and reflector power the high beams. This one in particular does not have any fog lights, but of course you can get fog lights. So check out the front end here. It has like a little bit of a, a sharp edge right there. It kind of looks like a sharp edge, which looks pretty cool. I mean, this vehicle stood out. As soon as I was looking, for them they contacted me and they told me to that they came in so i rushed down here and was looking through the lot and they instantly stood out when i looked at all the cars and mostly because of the the just the design the front and the rear end so you can see it has the daytime running lights there on the outside which look really cool a lot of cool stuff to talk about in this car so we're gonna i'm gonna try to show you as much as i possibly can so Let's check it out. So this is what the key looks like. And this one has the remote start. It has the lock and unlock buttons there. Open up the trunk. You even have a panic button there at the bottom. It's just basically a proximity key. And uh, it does have a physical key on the inside that you can take out using this little lever here. Uh, just in case you need that. In case the batteries go dead or something. So let's go ahead and make sure it's unlocked. Which we don't even have to do that because it has the proximity system. Actually, let me go ahead and lock it. So I want to demonstrate something for you. All you have to do in order to get in the vehicle when it's locked, I'm going to demonstrate with the back door here. It's locked. So we walk up, and you see it's locked when I put my hand there. But it's, all I have to do is put my hand behind the handle. It unlocks the vehicle. If I want to relock it, I just push this button. And it locks the vehicle so it has that smart key uh, system which is awesome highly recommended so here's the inside of the passenger door you can see it has the metallic accent here has some contrast stitching a little bit there soft to the touch fabric here and here you have a little handle place to put a bottle holder put a bottle and hold of some other stuff here at the very bottom and I like the way it's kind of dished out there a little bit so you can access the storage pocket a little bit easier. You have a little tweeter speaker above and a larger speaker in the bottom. There's your threshold. The seat is a manually adjusted cloth black seat with the accents there on the back and here on the front of the seat as well, which looks pretty cool. Goes along with the French contrast stitching here pretty decent bolstering without being too intrusive on your body very very comfortable seats a lot of people are um, you know, talking about how comfortable the seats are now this seat is all the way back just to give you an idea of the legroom massive amount of legroom here in the front and man so it doesn't matter I mean you could be like six foot two or three or something like that and, and fit in here just fine Let's take a look at the dashboard. You have this kind of a sporty, it's not really a carbon fiber. I guess it could be considered a carbon fiber look uh, accent here. Let's see if we can get a close up of it. But it looks and feels pretty cool. Looks like a sporty design. 
Let's take a look at the glove compartment. Massive glove compartment there. All smooth plastic on the inside so it's easy to clean out. See you have a little cubby right here which we'll show you all that stuff in a few minutes but that's pretty cool. You can access it from both sides just in case the passenger wants to charge his phone or connect up something. So you'll notice this has this little window here which helps out with looking in your blind spot which is pretty neat. Now this also has the blind spot camera located there which we'll check out that when we get more on the inside. So let's take a look here in the back. Here's the inside of the back door. Storage pocket there at the bottom. You have the hard plastics and then you have the soft to the touch fabric here. There's your threshold. There's the seats. It is kind of a bench seat but it does have some little bit of bolstering on the side to kind of give you that uh, bucket seat feel. You do have the center passenger space here. Armrest with cup holders just in case you don't have a center passenger. There's a little hump there in the center. A pretty good size hump actually. But uh, gotta, gotta get the exhaust to the back of the vehicle somehow. So here I am sitting in the back, very comfortable back seats. And I'm about six feet tall. So the front seat's all the way back. And I still have plenty of leg room here. I mean, my knees are sticking up a little bit because the floorboard isn't that low. But as you can see, I actually have a decent amount of leg room back here and I'm pretty comfortable um, overall the seat is, is soft it's not too you know intrusive on my body I have enough room here on the right side and the left side I can you know kind of sprawl out and get comfortable and hang out really impressed so let's take a look up here you see it has a little in inside light dome light it has the handles with little hidden hook right here in case you want to hang like uh, your clothes or something so I'm really admiring the contours of this vehicle really looking good the lines the proportions everything about it is really striking especially these tail lights check it out Okay, so let's take a look here in the trunk area. And it has a backup camera under here. There's a little button just under the Honda symbol to open up the trunk. You can see right there. So here's your trunk space. And man, is it huge. Uh, a lot bigger than I expected in a vehicle this size. They really did a good job of maxing, maximizing the cargo and passenger space. So those seats can fold down just in case you need some extra storage space. It's a 60-40 split. So you have the ability to fold down one seat or both just in case you need a combination of passenger and cargo space. So this one in particular has the, the cargo mat, which is highly recommended. And let's look under it so we can check out the spare tire and tools right there. Some vehicles don't even have a spare tire anymore, so it's good. It's good to see that they have one here. So if you want to lower the seat, you just pull this lever right here. And then you walk around this side and actually grab the seat and just pull it down like so. That way you have this one seat down. Same thing on the other side. It has another lever on that side. The fuel door is on the driver's side, which is very convenient in my preference actually so let's go ahead and check it out there's your fuel door and look at there it has a capless design so all you have to do is put the nozzle in pump your gas and close the door and you're all all set you don't have to worry about caps losing the caps or leaving the cap too loose and the jet engine light coming on it's completely that simple so i want to show you the window sticker so you can get all the details here and you could use the pause button if you want to check it out in more detail.
So if you don't want to use the remote start, you can just bring the vehicle, bring the key in the vehicle, put your foot on the brake and hold it and push this button. Go ahead and take a look under the hood. Opening the hood, there's a little lever, a little bit to the left of the Honda symbol here, the center, and you move it to the right, and you lift it up. And it requires a prop here to hold the hood up, but here's your engine. It's a 2.0 liter IV Tech direct injection four cylinder engine. 158 horsepower with 140 pound-feet of torque and it's mated to a CVT continuously variable transmission now one thing I want to mention it has this prop but there's two places to put the prop you have the place right here you also have the place down there and the reason why one will allow you to lift the hood much higher so you can get underneath the hood easier which is awesome I love that feature on my vehicle So one of the things I noticed about this vehicle is the front doors open up really good ways. I mean, they really go out there so you can get in and out of the vehicle easy, easier. So let's go ahead and check it out. Here's the inside of the driver's door. You have a little handle pocket here, a little pocket here at the bottom. There's a little place to pop the trunk in case you need to do that. And then your window controls are here. You have your window controls, door lock controls, and side mirror controls there. As in the other side, it's soft to the touch here and here. Manual adjustments here on the driver's seat. And it has the ability to move the seat forward, back, recline, but also you can go up and down slightly uh, using this lever here. Okay, here we are on the inside, 2016 Honda Civic EX. Very, very impressed with this vehicle. I love it. And it's really fun to show off. So let's go ahead and start on the steering wheel. It is a tilt and telescoping uh, steering column. And it has this little lever here to lock it in place. You just move it back to lock it and then it secures the steering wheel. So this one has a synthetic steering wheel with some really cool texturing. You have this sporty texturing here at the bottom and at the very top. Like little dimples, similar to like a golf ball, except for a little bit more fine. Let's see if you can see that. And then down here, you have a simulated leather texturing here on the sides. You have this little sporty grip for the 10 and 2 position there, plus here. And man, is this really easy to use. Uh, this, the buttons on the steering wheel, your cruise control is on this side. You just turn it on, you set it, you change your speeds, you cancel it. It's that simple. And here on the left side is your volume for your radio. And you just basically kind of move your hand up and down and you can adjust the volume. I don't know if you can see that. So you're not pushing buttons, you're just kind of rubbing against it uh, and and doing your volume that way it's pretty cool down here is your Bluetooth phone once you pair your phone with the system you'll be able to make and receive calls you also have a voice recognition system which helps you make the calls it also helps you change through the radio stations and different things like that so these buttons right here correspond with this center screen so you can change information there let me go ahead and turn the volume down so you can change different like say an AM FM uh, different audio sources like that but also that you have this little button here which cycles through different information 
So right now it's showing your fuel economy and your range, how far you can drive before you have to get gas. You get to give, give your average fuel economy, plus you have this little bar which will give you a real-time uh, fuel economy while you're driving. So pushing this information button right here, you can cycle through different screens. So this is your first screen, your fuel economy. You see it has a little fuel pump. Push it again and let's go into the maintenance portion. This tells you your oil life, how, when it's time to change your oil. Let's go ahead and push it, get out of that. Go over here to the radio so you can see what your radio station is doing. You can, of course, change the uh, stations and, and audio source uh, using these arrow buttons over here. But let's get out of that. Let's go into the phone. This is where you can, there's no phone set up right now, uh, but it, you'll have access to uh, see who's calling, like a caller ID type thing there. And let's get out of that. And then you have the ability to change two kilometers per hour or miles per hour. And it goes back to the original. Now that's probably the default screen there. Uh, keep an eye on your fuel economy while you're driving. That's probably what I would keep it on. So just behind the steering wheel, you have your headlight controls. There's off, parking lights, automatic, and on. So as simple as that. Also, it's your turn signal, but on the very end, it has this cool button, which will allow you to see in your blind spot on your right side. So on the passenger side, there's your screen by pushing that button. You can also turn the turn signal on. We'll turn activate that screen as well. And that way you can actually see the cameras under there and you'll be able to see in that direction. So this is a really handy feature. So you can really see right where your, your blind spot is on your passenger side. Now you're probably thinking, what about the driver's side? Now the driver's side is taken care of because the side mirror has a little distortion there on the edge which bends the light around to eliminate your blind spot in your mirror. Now I still highly recommend looking in your blind spot and what's cool about this car is it has that little window back there which helps you out with uh, visibility which is really awesome. So on here on this side is your windshield wiper controls there. Your trash control button is here on the far side here on the left. You can turn it off. Default will always be on. Let's go ahead and take a look at the center stack here. And it's very simple but a lot of features. Feature rich touch screen. So right now we are in the home button. So we have this home button here and that's what it looks like. And you have the audio information, Honda Link, uh, different your smartphone, uh, smartphone connection to where you can hook up Apple CarPlay or um, Android audio, auto, that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and check out the audio screen, see what it looks like. So you can see it has the, right now we're in the uh, FM. But you can change the source by pushing this button here. And you've got AM, FM, you've Bluetooth uh, down here, USB, Pandora, off your cell phone, iPod. <laughs> There's all kinds of different ways of playing music through the sound system. So let's go ahead and hit the home button. Then you have your phone. Once you pair your phone, you'll have access to your for recent calls. You have favorites. It'll have your phone book, all that good stuff. Uh, information. This will get you like your trip computer. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. See what your trip computer looks like. There we go. So your current drive, and then your trip history there, uh, average fuel economy, so you can keep track of your fuel economy and how you drive and all that stuff. Let's go back home. All kinds of different settings for this. I'm not even going to get into every one of them, but you can uh, set up different cell phones, your smartphone, uh, you adjust your clock, all that stuff, your camera. Let's go back home. Uh, smartphone connection. I'll have to do a separate video on that because it takes a little bit of time to set it up and I want to make sure I do it properly. But basically the, the same thing with the, uh, if you're familiar with Apple CarPlay or Android Android Auto, it has those features on this vehicle. So let's go, let's get hit the app list so you can check it out. It looks like an, it looks like an Android, doesn't it? So you have a browser, calculator, all that good stuff. And you can put widgets on here if you wanted to do that. I need to, I'm not hitting the buttons properly because I'm looking through the screen of the, 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 the camera and not actually the screen. So let's go back out of that. 
and let's swipe so you can see you have the ability to swipe just like your cell phone to different screens okay so let's look down here this is uh, this button is for to access access your climate control so pushing that button you'll have access to your fan speed where you want the air to blow you can turn the air conditioning on and off there you also have your temperatures here on the left and right now you'll notice these are not this is not for your radio this is for your temperatures and your volume button is here so you want to get used to that um, so you, I mean you also have it on the steering wheel so you have the ability to uh, adjust your volume in two ways so down here is your temperature and then you recirculate the air and then your front and rear defrosters your rear defroster will also turn on your heated side mirrors as well and check out that start button nice glowing red so this is a neat little storage cubby down here. Now I ran a wire uh, just to show you. This is this doesn't come with the vehicle, but it has this little place for wires to go in and out, and it has a little place for the wires to attach there. So once you uh, run it down to the USB port down here, you can plug in your phone, and you can leave your phone uh, right in this area and plug it in, and that way you can charge the phone, but also attach it hook it up to the Apple CarPlay or the Android Auto. Now this is a rubberized material here so when your cell phone is there it will not slide around. Let me go ahead and put my cell phone here so you can see the amount of space we have. Now this is a Samsung Note 4 which is a fairly large phone so you have the ability to put it that way and let's see here let's put it that way like so so fits in there pretty good and you can actually see it I like that so you can see what's going on with it now when you hook it up to the Apple the Android Auto this actually screen goes di uh, blank on your phone and you control the features on this screen which is pretty interesting okay so let's take a look at this uh, shifter so there's your park position and then when you put it in reverse, your backup camera pops up right here. So you can see really good behind the vehicle and you have different views. So you have a wide angle view. You can notice everything's very distorted because it's a wide angle view, which gives you the ability to look from the bumper to the sky in a real wide angle. So let's push this button, which is more of a straight on view. And then this button is a top down view. So you can see kind of right down uh, behind the vehicle. So that's pretty cool right there. So let's continue down to drive. This is your normal drive uh, position. It's going to cycle through the gear ratios automatically. You also have a sport mode, which will emphasize performance more than fuel economy. And then you have a low range, which will uh, set the gear ratio at a lower range than uh, normal. So that way you can have some engine braking or uh, just some more uh, engine power for certain reasons. It's more for if you're going downhill and you wanted some engine braking is what comes to mind right now you also have a electronic power uh, parking brake here so you can engage it by lifting it up and then it'll give you a little indicator that it's on and you push it down to release it and you can actually feel that it, it in the pedal when it's uh, engaging and disengaging you have a brake hold feature which if you're stopped and your vehicles in drive and you want to hold to keep the vehicle still but you want to take your foot off the brake you can push that and it'll hold the brakes for you which is pretty neat so here's your economy mode you can push that and you can that tells the vehicle you want to focus more on uh, fuel economy so right here is your center armrest and it's all cloth and comfortable but this is a very very interesting and unique center console this thing slides back and then you can see you have some cup holders here now the cup holders are actually removable so let's go ahead and remove those by pulling that and these, uh, these things are pretty neat because once you get it in place, uh, you can slide it forward and back. I'll show you that in a second. But in here, this lifts up. So this little tray, you can slide it forward and back to, depending on where you want it. Just like the, the cup holders there, you can slide those in a, in a position. But also, these are removable. So uh, one side is spring-loaded, so you can pop it out like that. So you can see this side right here is spring-loaded like so. So you have this massive, massive compartment here. You also have this divider, which you can remove that. 
So you can really, really have a lot of room here. You could actually probably put a uh, a small laptop or something in there. So you also have a USB port. This is a 1.0 amp uh, USB port. Let's go ahead and slide this cup holder around so you can see what I'm talking about. It slides, and since it's a padded track, it doesn't rattle or anything. Uh, it's very secure, and it stays in position. You slide it right where you want. It's not going to go forward and back, even if you're, um, you know, like stopping hard and stuff like that. And then, of course, you can have this armrest more forward position or in its back position like that, whichever you want. Okay, let's take a look at the rearview mirror. This one is a manual day and night mode version, pretty traditional there. And the visors have mirrors and a light. Same thing on that side. Okay, so let's take a look up here. We have some tap lights. You can have a quick reading light if you need that. You can have all your interior lights turn on with the door by pushing in that position, or you can turn that feature off. But you also have sunroof controls here. So here is your sunroof. And it is a has a complete shade that covers up 100% of the light. You can open it up like so. You can tilt up the sunroof like that, or you can, you can open it up all the way. Get some air coming in. Close it up, and you can close it up like that and get all the light out as, in addition to the air. Okay, let's check out the visibility here in the back. Really good visibility all around the vehicle. You have those little tiny windows that helps out with the sides, and then you have a uh, fairly low headrest so you can see out the back window really good. So the visibility in the front, the back, everything is superb, excellent. Yeah, we'll get the LED headlights and all that. Yeah, they'll get the same ones the Accord Touring has now. It'll definitely be interesting to see how that 1.5 liter turbo drives. Yeah. I'm definitely interested to see how that will, will operate. Yeah. Okay, in order to keep the vehicle in stationary position. Now with the brake hold system, it actually gives you, uh, it gives you like an extra foot, for instance. So once you come to a complete stop, it will engage the brake, okay, and hold that brake so you can actually take your foot off the brake pedal, and it will keep the vehicle stopped. Now it'll do that for up to 10 minutes, and for whatever reason, 10 minutes goes by, it'll automatically engage the electronic parking brake, so okay. the vehicle does not move. Okay. But that brake hold gets disengaged just by pressing the gas. So, for instance, when we come up here to these stack of cars. And we're going to have to wait for the light. Yeah, we're going to have to wait for the light anyway. There's a little button here, a little light that says brake hold next to the fuel gauge. Okay. Okay, for instance, we're going to stop here. It'll say hold. Once you see hold activated, 
I'll take my foot off both feet and the vehicles just gonna be but you push that off. button I push to engage button. it yeah one okay. time okay and then from there so now all we have to do to go is just, just push the gas when when we're ready to go yeah just tap for it. and huh. it'll do that every single time I stop come to a complete stop it'll do that so it's pretty cool definitely uh, you know keeps you less fatigued on your feet when you stop and go traffic so yeah it out quite a bit so that and that does paired with the electronic parking brake uh, which is something we've done new in the HRV and brought it to the 16 Civic pretty exciting features so it's more of a railing so the green lights that you see uh, the light green white and dark green and that'll let you know how you're doing as far as your driving essentially what that is is it's more of a yeah a teaching tool for your as a driver to learn those are your, the darker green it gets the more efficiently you're driving the vehicle okay so for instance during accelerations you see them white okay and as the transmission kind of refines that gear ratio it'll become darker green and the darker green you get the more efficiently you're driving the vehicle so you'll see that does it ever turn red it never turns red white is considered the um, non-optimal non efficient okay and then there's a light green and then it'll quickly go into dark green. Okay. So, that's so just cruising with the cruise control on, yeah. it'll go to a, like a darker green. Correct. As long as the as long as the fuel economy is, is, is par up to par, basically, for what you're trying to get accomplished. So obviously, fuel efficiency in something this size is really the name of the game. Um, but this paired with all the torque and horsepower you're going to get in this vehicle is certainly certainly good. What you'll see. What's the high, isn't the highway rating like close to 40 or something like that? Uh, around here, you're going to find more commonly 45, wow. 50. Because it's level level ground? Right. Well, yeah, this is a terrible road. 17 is, is a rough road, but it, it cruises. It'll, it'll stay dark green at 65 easy, so highway miles, you're not going to have a, you know, a problem with it as long as you're not driving up a hill or anything like that. So there you have it, 2016. Honda Civic, really awesome vehicle. And if you could leave some comments in the comment section, maybe if you have any experience with one of these vehicles or if you have any questions or anything like that, leave it in the comment section. It really helps out everybody else uh, as far as acquiring information. If there's any clarifications or um, you know mistakes in the video that you can uh, add to, I'd really appreciate it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.